China is drowning, but you won't see much coverage of it in the mainstream media in the West. Let me apologize ahead of time if I mess up the pronunciation of some of these communities. For the past month, China has been relentlessly battered with torrential rainfall. It's fairly widespread as well. Several of China's 23 provinces are reporting severe flooding. It's been reported that 5.2 million people have already been affected, with over 400,000 people evacuated, and that the damage is already approaching a billion American dollars. This is what's being reported. Knowing how the Chinese Communist Party operates, it is most likely much worse than that. To put this into perspective, my community, a few years ago, was flooded. The damages cost our economy billions, and over 100,000 people were relocated. There are only about a million people in my relatively small part of the world. We had to call in the army. The floods, currently in China, dwarfs this. Over five times the amount of people are being affected. The hardest hit province, as far as I can tell, is the Zhengxi province that is suffering building destroying levels of flooding. The footage being shared on Twitter is nothing short of devastating. Zhengxi province has declared a state of war after 14 dikes burst causing as of yet untold damage and loss of life. In western countries, dams are usually abandoned after they exceed their lifespan. The owners of dams are required to remove the dam, clean the sediment from the reservoir, and leave the area in the same condition as before the dam was built. In China, however, abandoned dams are merely removed from the government's registry, so even if the dam still exists physically, it is no longer a dam to the government. What has people really concerned, in both the East and the West, is the state of the Three Gorges Dam. The Three Gorges Dam is located in Hubei province, and its integrity and quality of build has been called into question since it was put under construction in December of 1999, and subsequently completed in 2006. The construction of the dam displaced over a million people and flooded archaeological and cultural sites. The CCP justified this, stating the dam would create abundant, emission-free electricity, but failed to acknowledge many of the potential ecological costs. That said, it is a wonder of engineering. The Three Gorges Dam stretches for well over two kilometers. For my American friends, that's over 1.4 miles long. The dam towers over the countryside at over 180 meters, or 607 feet above sea level. 463,000 tons of steel was used in its construction. That's 63 Eiffel Towers. Downstream from the dam is literally hundreds of millions of people half a billion. If the dam was to fail, which many people are concerned about, the resulting chaos would be, without being too dramatic, biblical. The resulting economic, ecological, and human damage would be felt worldwide. The source of the floods, torrential downpours, do not look like they are going to let up anytime soon. The rainy season in southern China lasts for months and it's just getting started. Floods are common in China. Friends of mine from mainland China would tell me, floods are normal. When it floods, we just move to the second floor. And when the floods go away, we move back to the first. What's the big deal? They are not treating these floods with the same type of nonchalance. The death toll has not been widely reported, but last week, 100 souls were confirmed as already lost. China and its people are near and dear to my heart. The people of China deserve our prayers. Well, I need China. Thank you for listening. If you like my work, please consider subscribing. And remember, love is the answer, whatever that means.